Hey guys, welcome back to All About Mining. So today we're gonna diagnose uh, and probably change our engine exhaust uh, gas pressure sensor. Uh, so we had a fault show up while we were driving. Check, check engine code. Uh, that's that one right there, the 1209, and then uh, the uh, FMI2. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, let me explain a little bit of what happened. So before that fault came on, the engine was running normal, but the high whistle you hear in a typical diesel engine was fluctuating. So it was going, but really high pitched, right? And so that's probably the fins and the turbo going back and forth because the engine's not getting a proper reading of of what's going through the exhaust system. The other the other symptom that we had with hearing that was every time that uh, it would be super high pitched, I could feel loss in power in my driving capabilities. So what happens when this fault happens is you can lose up to 25% of your engine power. Um, and so it's one of those things that you really wanna get taken care of right away. You don't wanna be driving with this fault. And so uh, when that was prior to the air code coming up, so I kind of heard it, uh, heard the symptoms prior to the air code showing, showing up on the screen. Once the air code showed up on the screen, interestingly enough, um, I didn't hear that anymore. Once I got the fault, I went ahead and looked up exactly what it was. So that uh, that that SPN 1209 uh, FMI02 it indicates that the engine engine exhaust gas pressure prior to the the turbo the turbine uh, is out of range and so that's causing issues obviously and so what that could be it could be just a faulty sensor it could be a crack sen sensor. Sometimes when guys get to washing their truck, they stand up on the engine and they break things. Um, it could be clogged sensor, it can be a clogged port right there where it plugs in. Uh, or it just could be wiring problems. You could have a loose wire, a corroded wire. Uh, some places have rodents that'll get up in the truck and eat, chew in the wire. So just things to watch for. So that's troubleshooting, trying to figure out what this engine, um, this sensor is. So what we want to do is we want to get out, we're going to inspect the wiring harness that leads to that, uh, check for any damage corrosion there. We're going to take the sensor out, clean it, um, check the port where it plugs in, and you can do some cleaning in there. Uh, but more than likely, we're just going to change the sensor. And so the sensor itself, I'll put down in the description what the item number is for this truck. Uh, this is a Cummins X15 um, LT625. So just if you have that engine, that that part number should hopefully work for you. So I'll put that down in the description below. And let's get to it. All right, so here we're on the passenger side of the engine. And here your all your exhaust goes through here. But before that, on this engine, it's actually going to be back tucked up in here. Here's our sensor right there. Let me grab the camera. Show you a little bit better here. So right here out of the exhaust, there's this line that comes up and runs up right up to where that sensor is right there. All right. So that's what we're going to unplug. We're going to pull out and we're going to change that. So let's first start by checking the wire harness so there is our sensor so we'll follow that wire harness back a little ways all right we're up on top and here's the wiring here's the sensor here's the harness and the connections and everything looks pretty good so the wiring looks fine other than the people who sold this uh, went ahead and painted everything painted over everything so everything's got red on here but we'll go ahead and pop this off need a flathead screwdriver to get in here I'm gonna push this little white pin over and then it should just pop off 
Okay. First, we'll check this. Here's that little white pin that slides over, all right? That all appears to be fine. We'll put that out of the way. All right, one of the other things I found whenever you're trying to get on here, so I have a new one here. You can see how this is rounded a little bit. So it's a one and a sixteenth is what you need. However, if you use a 12 point like this one, you're probably gonna slip on that thing. So you really want a six point, one and a sixteenth, all right? Let's take that sensor off. So on this old one, it's pretty black. It's pretty dirty. Um, this sensor might still be good. It may be that it's just super, super dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up. You could just use some airflow sensor cleaner. Uh, pick that up at AutoZone. And you could spray that on there. You could use almost anything. I mean, you could even use brake cleaner if you wanted to. Some guys will say don't do it, but just make sure it's super dry. All that moisture has to dry. Don't put it in wet. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. This doesn't look like it's cracked around the base at all. A lot of times when guys are cleaning their truck, they'll stand up on top of their engine. And their foot will hit this. And it'll break this. Either just fracture it a little bit or completely break it off. But uh, yeah, so we'll use this as a backup in case we need it later. I'm just going to go ahead and clean that off. And here's the new one. So we'll go ahead and put this one in there and get it going. What you don't want to do is you don't want to over tighten it. Just get it fairly snug, but do not over tighten it because these will strip out. And uh, if you strip, if you strip it out on, on the actual engine, you got a big problem. All right. Now, this does rotate a little bit because it's actually completely opposite the way of the one that came on, that was pushed on. So we'll put that plug back down on there. And then, excuse the military jets flying over the sound of freedom all right so once you have this back on make sure you push that pin in there's actually a little metal cover that goes over this That goes right in and that locks it in place. All right, if you don't push that in while you're going down the road, this could come loose and then you'll have the fault again. But right there, we have it all changed out. 